Hey, what's up, guys? All right. So I got a bunch of emails today from many, many of you guys, and you want to know how to annotate a PDF. That means change a PDF using Windows. First of all, if you're using Mac, it's built in there. You click on the PDF. The preview comes up. Just select whatever you want to use, and it goes right to it. Now, if you're using uh, Windows, you're going to have a little bit more of a, a couple things you got to do. But it's very easy. It's free. And the things you can do with it are really, really simple. There's no reason for you guys to be freaking out. This is easy to do. I'm going to jump over to the other screen, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to get and exactly what you need to do. It's really very easy. Okay. The other screen. First thing you're going to do, you're going to download, go to this website, Tracker Software Products. There's the uh, web address, and I'll put it in there for you guys as well. You're going to download this software. It's free, and it's awesome. So you're going to download it, install it, have it working. Okay. What then will happen is once it's installed, you're going to open the PDF document, and it's going to look like this. Here's the PDF document. Okay. We're going to want to change it. Simple. Go to Tools. Comment and Markup. You can do anything you want. You can put stamp tools on it. You can put a sticky note. Typewriter tools, what you're going to use. You can highlight things, make arrows, lines, ovals, shapes. You name it. And this is all part of the software and it's completely free. Typewriter tool, we'll go to that. We'll go to default style. So you don't have to worry about adjusting it now. And then you'll see that this will come up. So say we want to uh, change a line or write anything we want. We'll put what we want. Here's a number. 212-345-1234. Okay. Uh, we want to do another number here. Let's see. Uh, temperature, 98. Uh, pulse, 98. You know what I mean? Blood pressure, uh, 120 over 80. And so forth and so forth. And you'll just keep doing this and filling out the entire form. All right until you get done with the form and then all you gotta do is you go up here and you click file save and that's it and then you'll save it as a you know a PDF document and you'll reattach it into the website and you'll be good to go and the tools inside here are awesome man I mean you could do this stuff like you can do crazy stuff you got all these different stamps you can you know put right here you know be like final <laughs> you know you got really cool stuff in here that you can use um, you can do call outs, you can have like, you know, you can put an arrow to something, you can change something around, you know, you got the arrow tool, one of my favorite things to use. So you can just put an arrow like right here, you know, stick an arrow down there. So this is a cool piece of software that you can use that's easy to use. It doesn't cost you anything and will make doing, or excuse me, annotating PDFs very, 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 very simple to do. So I hope that this has been helpful. Um, please, in the school, Thing. say if these videos are helping you out I'd like to know if they're helping you guys out actually because quite a few videos I've now posted so no reason to freak out follow my instructions exactly as I just told you what to do do the assignment it's very very simple assignment save the assignment as a PDF attach it in there do not forget to put your name date and class as well put it in the top right I put it in mine in the top right that way she'll know that it's you that did it and you'll be good to go. You should have no problems. All right, guys. So I hope that helps out. Everybody have themselves a good evening. And uh, I'll talk to you guys another time.